Good morning, today's lesson is 1.8. Today we're gonna to do some problem solving, comparison problems with addition and subtraction. Our essential question today, how can you use the strategy, draw a diagram to solve comparison problems with addition and subtraction? Let's unlock the problem. Hot air balloon festivals draw large crowds of people. The attendance on the first day of one festival was 17,350. On the second day, the attendance was 18,925. How many more people attended the hot air balloon festival on the second day? Use the graphic organizer to help you solve the problem. Whenever I look at the question, the first thing I wanna do is look for my keywords. And how many more people attended is a big hint. So let's see, what do I need to find out? Well, I need to find out how many more people attended the hot air balloon festival on the second day. And then what information do I need to use? Well, I need to know that the first day was 17,350, and I need to know that the second day, the attendance was 18,925. And then finally, how am I gonna use the information? And what would be a good strategy that I can use? Well, I can draw a diagram, or I can use a bar model. So if I'm looking at the bar model, I put my 18,925 here and I put my 17,350 here. And this little space right here is the space that I'm missing. So 18,925 minus 17,350. Let me set it up on the side. Remember when you're setting it up to line up your numbers. So zeros in the ones there. I've got five, three, comma, seven, one, and I'm gonna subtract. So five, um, Five minus zero is going to be five. I can't take, I can't do two minus five, so I'm going to have to go to the next number and I'm gonna to have to regroup. So this is now gonna be eight hundreds and I'm gonna take um, what I regrouped and I'm gonna put it over here and this is now gonna be 12 tens, okay? So 12 tens from five is going to be seven. And then I have eight minus three, which is gonna be five. And I have eight minus seven, which is gonna be one. And one minus one is zero. So this little space right here that is in between this is gonna be 1,575. So the answer is 1,575. So 1,575 more people attended the festival on the second day. Let's try another problem. During an event, a hot air balloon traveled a distance of 5,110 feet during the first trip and 850 feet more during the second trip. How far did it travel during the second trip? So what do I need to find out? Well, I need to find out how far did it travel during the second trip. And it is the hot air balloon, right? So I need to find out the number of feet that the balloon traveled during the second trip. So what information do I need to use to find that out? Well, I need to find out. I need to know that the distance during the first trip was 5,110 feet during the first trip, but it was 850 feet, 50 more feet than the second trip. So it's this number and this number during the second trip. So it's 5,110 feet during the first trip, and then it's 850 more feet during the second trip. So it's gonna be this and this. So how I'm gonna use the information? So I can draw a bar model or a diagram. So I don't know the second trip, but I know the second trip consists of the 5,110 feet plus this 850 feet, right? And 500 or 5,110 plus 850, because it was more. So this is my second trip. This is my first. I know I kind of wrote that backwards, but um, that's supposed to be a D. So zero plus zero is zero. Five plus one is six. Eight plus one is nine and five plus nothing is five. So that means up here, this is 5,960. So my second trip was 5,960. Christian Bell down below asked me, is your answer reasonable? Explain how you know. So this is where estimating comes into play. 
So 5,960 is reasonable because 5,000 plus 1,000 is 6,000. So what they're doing is they're saying that five, you know, this number is close to 5,000 and 850 is close to 1,000. So 5,000 plus 1,000 is 6,000. 5,960 is really close to 6,000 and that's what makes it reasonable. All right, let's do the Sharon show. So hot air balloons are able to fly at a very high altitude. A world record height of 64,997 feet was set in 1988. In 2005, a new record of 6, 68,986 feet was set. How many feet higher was the 2005 record than the 1998 record? So first we're going to di draw a diagram to show the parts of the problem. So the higher one, which is the bigger one, is going to be the one that was set in 2005. So this is going to be 2005. And then this one is going to be 1988. And in 1988, it was 6,409 or 4, 6, 64,997 feet. And then in 2005, it was 68,986 feet. So using the bar model, we can see that I'm trying to find the difference between the two. I'm trying to find this little space right here. So if I subtract the two, so now next we're going to write the problem that we need to solve, which is 68,986 minus 64,997. Last, we're going to solve the problem to find out how many feet higher the 2005 record was than the 1988 record. In order to do that, I'm going to use this workspace because it's going to be a little easier than having to do it out of your head. Remember, you need to line up your decimals. I always start on this side. So I do my 7, then I do my 10s place, then I do my 100s place, my 1000s place, and then my 10,000s place. So now when I subtract, I cannot subtract 6 from 7, so I'm going to have to go next door, and I'm going to have to borrow. I'm going to borrow. And so now this is going to be 16, or not borrow, we call it regrouping. Um, so 16 minus 7 is going to be 9. And then I can't take 7 for 9, so I'm going to go next door, and I'm going to um, regroup. So I'm going to take one of the hundreds, and I'm going to add it over here to the tens. Remember, 10 tens is 100, so this is now going to be 17 tens. 17 minus 9 is 8. So now I'm going over here. I cannot subtract 8 from 9. So I'm going to go to the thousands. I'm going to borrow one of the thousands, and I'm going to add it over here to the hundreds. And because um, I'm regrouping, sorry, I keep calling it borrowing, but it's regrouping. So 18 minus 9 is 9, and then put my apostrophe. So now I have 7 thousands minus 4 thousands, which is 3,000. And then I have 60,000 minus 60,000, or 6 minus 6, which is nothing. So my answer, the record is 3,989 feet higher. And the question asked, number two asks, what if the new world altitude record of 70,000 feet was set? How many feet higher would the new record be than the record of 2005? So I cleared out my space on the other side. So I'm going to do, so the new record is going to be 70,000 feet new record is going to be 70,000 feet and they want to know how much um, more it's going to be than the 2005 record. Well, if my 2005 record was right here, right? It was 68,986. So I'm going to subtract this. Um, I can't take a zero from six. So I'm going to have to go here. Uh, there's nothing to borrow, so I'm going to have to keep going. There's nothing to borrow, so I have to keep going. There's nothing, or not borrow, there's nothing I can regroup. So I'm actually going to have to take all the way over here, I'm going to take a 10,000. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to take a 10,000, which is going to knock all of these down to 9. And this last one's going to be a 10. Because I had to keep going all the way to the end, right, when I was borrowing. Or when I was regrouping. So 10 minus 6 is 4. 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 9 is 0, 9 minus 8 is 1, and 6 minus, minus 6 is nothing. So the new record is going to be 1,014 feet higher 
than the 2005 record. Number three says last year the ticket sales for commercial hot air balloon ride were 109,076. This year the ticket sales were 125,805. How much more were the ticket sales this year? So if I want to know how much more they were this year, I'm going to have to again subtract. So 125,805 minus the 109,000. 76. So I can't take 5 from 6, so I have to go next door. Uh, there's nothing to take from there, so I'm actually going to have to come in the hundreds. So this is going to be a 7, this will be a 9, and this is going to be 15. So 15 minus 6 is 9. 9 minus 7 is 2. 7 minus 0 is 7. Now I'm over here and I've got five minus nine. I cannot do five minus nine. So I'm going to have to go into the 10 thousands place and take one of those. And I'm going to add that over here. So 15 minus nine is six. And one minus zero is one. And one minus one is nothing. So the answer is $16,729. Uh, number four says a musician's first album sells 234,499 copies the first week it was released. During the second week, another 432,112 albums were sold. How many more al albums were sold during the second week than the first week? So again, we're going to be subtracting the two to find the difference. So let's do that. So when I set up the problem, I'm going to put the larger number on top because whenever you subtract, you want the larger number to be on top. And again, it's really important that you line up your numbers. So I'm making sure that I'm lining them up. And if you need to, use graph paper. I've got plenty of it in the cabinet. Okay. So when I subtract, I can't take the 2 from the 9. So I'm going to take it from the 10's place. So this is going to be 12 now minus 9 which is three, zero from nine. Again, I can't do that. So this is gonna end up being 10, and I'm going to take from the hundreds place. 10 minus nine is one. I can't take zero from four, so again, I'm gonna have to borrow, or not borrow, I'm gonna have to regroup. So this is now gonna be 10 one hundreds, which is a thousand, right? And I'm gonna take one of the thousands here. Okay, so 10 minus four is six. And then I have, um, again, 1 minus 4, and I can't do that, so I'm going to borrow from the 10,000s. So I'm going to add 10,000, um, making it be 11,000 here. And I'm going to take from there. So 11 minus 4 is 7. So again, now I have 2 minus 3. I can't do that, so I have to take from the 100,000s. So I'm going to take one of the 100,000s. I'm going to regroup, and I'm going to add that 100,000s here. So now I have 12 hundred thousands, or 12 ten thousands, um, minus three ten thousands, and that's going to be nine. And then I have three minus two, or 300,000 minus 200,000, which is one. So my answer is 1,900, I'm sorry, 197,613 um, albums. Make sure you write the albums. So that's how many more were sold during the second week than the first week. Okay, I know this video is a little bit longer, but I know that sometimes word problems can be tricky. So I'm going to keep going. Um, let's use models. Steve Foster attempted to fly around the world in a balloon several times before he succeeded in 2002. How many more miles did he fly during the 2002 flight than he did the August 1998 flight? So first of all, here's 1998. This is also 1998, but remember he wants the August flight. So we need this number right here. And then the other piece of information that I need is, so I have the 1998 in August. I also need to know what the 2002 flight is. So here's his 2002 flight where he succeeded. So I can draw a bar model if I want, all right? So this is the 2002 flight. And this is 20,482. And then I can compare that 
to his 1998, remember, the August one, which is 14,235. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the answer and the difference right here. Just kind of helps to know that we're subtracting. Really, that's what the bar, bar, for me, that's what the bar model helps to illustrate. So now I'm going to solve it, 20,482. Please remember to line up. So there's my ones place, my tens place, my hundreds place, my thousands, and my ten thousands. Now I'm going to subtract. I can't take the two. I cannot subtract two from five, so I'm going to have to regroup. I'm going to take one of the tens, and I'm going to add that ten over here so that I have 12 minus 5, which is 7. And then I have 7 minus 3, which is 4. 4 minus 2, which is 2. And then over here, I have zero in the thousands place, and I can't take zero thousands from four thousands. So I'm going to have to regroup my ten thousands. So I'm going to take one of my ten thousands away, and I'm going to add it to my thousands place. So now I have 10 minus 4, which is 6, and 1 minus 1, which is 0. So it's going to be 6,247 miles. So that's how many more miles he traveled. Now, the going deeper, it says, is the combined distance for the 1998 flights more or less than the distance for the 2002 flight? Well, first we have to combine them, right? So the 1998 flight, let's look over here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this in January and August. So we're going to combine. So the combined flight is 14,235 plus 5,803 because we're combining them, right? We're going to put them together. We're going to add them. 5 plus 3 is 8, 3 plus 0 is 3, 8 plus 2 is 10, I'm going to carry my 1 over there, 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 5 is 10, and then I've got 1 plus 1, which is 2. So the combined flight of the 1998 is 20,038, and his flight in 2002 is 20,482. So... The combined 1998 flights are less than the 2002 flight by about 400, a little more than 400, about 450-ish. Okay, so I want you for number seven to go to the math think on the spot, and I want you to watch the video for that in Think Central, and then I want you to finish number eight, and then you're going to work on your little book before you do your Think Central. And if you need me, I will be on the carpet. Good luck. Remember... Go to the math on the spot. They'll do this exact problem, but it'll be slightly different numbers. So that should help you. And that will also help you with the Think Smarter problem as well. Okay? Good luck.